what, what the mate is talking about. What's up, family? A couple of Asian drivers were busted in Philadelphia unloading animal bodies from a van. Dead animal bodies. Looked like dogs. In fact, that's what the guys who were in the video, filming the video said. They said that they were dogs. For a long time, I resisted the notion that these Asian restaurants would feed people dogs or cats or rats or bats or whatever. But after seeing overwhelming evidence of it in China and some evidence in the U.S., I have concluded. I believe they're right. I have a personal story. One day I picked my son up from school and we stopped, grab a bite to eat at an Asian restaurant. We go in, I order chicken something. I bite into it and I back up. I tell my son, I said, man, this don't taste like chicken. Now, I know chicken. I've eaten chicken a long time. I have an intimate relationship with it. I've eaten all kinds of fried chicken, all kinds of baked chicken, broad chicken, barbecue chicken. I know chicken. That wasn't chicken. It had a different texture almost like a brisket. You know how a brisket have like layers to it? It almost was like that. But you know it wasn't brisket because brisket costs more money. I suspect that they fed me either a mixed chicken. Now you have mixed dogs and stuff. So it's a mixed chicken Maybe a chicken and a maybe a chicken and a cow got together. They either fed me a mixed chicken, or uh, perhaps something more sinister. I really suspect that they fed me a dog or a cat. I don't know how either one of them tastes, but I know that they have a reputation for cooking and selling dogs and cats. Now, here's the interesting thing about this family. In America, we eat cows and we eat chickens. We eat alligators. We eat ducks, hens, you know, a number of animals. Could it be that if we had been raised eating dogs and cats, we wouldn't find this so odd. Just wondering. I suspect if you cook anything good enough, it would be consumable, could be tasty. I hope them people ain't fed me no dog. I don't wanna say I ate a dog, I ate a cat. Anyway, what y'all think about this fam? Have y'all got any stories like this? And who has stopped eating at Asian restaurants altogether? I have, I stopped. Cause I just don't know what's in there. Now you can play it safe. If you go to an Asian restaurant, you know, you can almost be good if you order fish or shrimp. But even the fish and shrimp is being compromised at some of these places. They got fake fish and fake shrimp. They're putting all kinds of stuff in this 
and this food to multiply it and make it last long. Oh man, I don't even want to go there. Anyway, fam, who has started the boycott? Who's boycott? Who's saying that no, I will not eat there anymore and I will not send my children, allow my children to eat at these type of restaurants? That was an Asian restaurant back in the day that everybody used to go to in the hood. And I got some inside knowledge that they don't change their grease. They use the same grease for weeks at a time. Disturbing news, disturbing allegations. What do y'all think about that fam? Who's still in? And who's all the way out? Drop a comment. No more talk. What the talking about?